The amount of graffiti removed from trains in Sydney has quadrupled, prompting claims by the New South Wales opposition that commuters are being forced to travel on mobile ghettos. Figures published on City Rail's website show there were over 35,000 recorded graffiti attacks last month, compared with just over 8,000 in November last year. Rail Corp has begun hiding closed circuit television cameras in carriages and working with police to focus on catching leaders of graffiti gangs. Police have seized 150 unclassified videos and DVDs, along with almost 300 magazines showing acts of graffiti in raids across Sydney. The raids on a paint supply store in Newtown yesterday uncovered the material which showed people committing acts of graffiti. Well, basically it's an aerosol art supply store specialising in premium paint for aerosol artists. Uh, in January, um, the police come here. They'll dress like combat cops or something like that, you know, or wearing all these, I don't know, they were like commandos, you know, doing a drug raid or something. And basically what their warrant said is that they can seize all my magazines and all the movies and videos that I have that have any sort of graffiti in it. And that's what they done. They took away all the stock that you see, like the magazines, all those got cleared out. They wanted to even take books, hardcover books that are published by reputable publishers. And at the moment, it's, it hasn't been resolved. Because the videos weren't classified, they didn't have a rating on them, so to speak. They're going up and chasing that up. But it doesn't make sense because it doesn't have any pornography in there. There's no one killing anyone. It's basically a documentary and it's showing something of someone's culture and someone's life form. So what they're trying to do is trying to wipe out a culture by taking away all, um, something that documents a culture, you know? It's like burning books or something like that, you know? Maze is uh, basically gallery set in a lane in St. Peter's where people have opportunity to show what they, they, they are about. Okay, this Wednesday we're going to show all these panels in, in one space. This time we're going to bring panels inside the warehouse. It's going to be quite amazing to, to see all of these panels together. And it is a document of full year of, of activity in the lane. I'd like to think that the introduction we give the young people in the program to aerosol artwork and uh, community murals will uh, get them thinking down the avenues of aerosol art where they can go out and utilise it as a, as a means to get commissioned work to uh, sort of further their own art practice within the community. I'm Numskull, with the little baby reaper over there. And I'm Mini Graf, and I did the milk crate section over there. <laughs> it's amazing, like, I mean, if you just look around, there's just an incredible cross-section of styles. It's like a great representation of, like, how street art movement sort of changed and morphed and what's been happening, yeah, I guess over the last 12 months, yeah. hey? Tugi's done really well yeah. to make it at this level as well, like, it's just, it's wicked. It seems like it's such a good thing because it gives the students, you know, all something to do outdoors. It's really arty, but um, it stops them from, I guess, doing it themselves as well. It just gives it a more creative outlet. It's good because it's not boring and plain. Yeah, like I hate walking up here and all you see is like one colour. It's yeah. really boring. The reaction that we get from the community when we're completing these murals is generally very positive and is a uh, good a good example to the young people that you can go much further with your art if you can try and engage and work with the community and the people around you as opposed to uh, doing anything which uh, will make them feel threatened or which will uh, ultimately gain you a bad rep. It's good to see, you know, the kids are doing something creative. It's not painting, but it's art. As long as they're doing something creative and make the area look a little bit better than that, I'm happy guys, so good work. This is probably my favourite place to paint down at White Bay in Balmain. Um, I've been painting down here for about over 10 years. I think the wall started in 1994. I really like legal walls, like the same reason that writers all over the world like them, just so that you can, you can take your time and, 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 and execute your ideas you know, exactly as you, you originally planned them. I suppose the, um, the drawbacks to uh, the illegal graffiti I used to do was 
uh, the hours, um, and also compromising my original ideas. You know, canned block, or the wall isn't as big as you thought, or you know, you can't. It's too dark to see what you're trying to do. That sort of thing. Like it always takes away from what you originally planned. And quite often, I remember going back and getting the photos the next day and thinking. It doesn't look as supposed to, like as good as it was supposed to. There's a block of unit, a block of terrace houses owned by one guy. So I just uh, knocked on the door, got a number, sort of uh, call, uh, called the guy up, sent him some stuff over the web, like a small proposal. Then he said, as long as it's not offensive or racist in any way, that sort of thing, he'd much rather have some nice art piece than just a bunch of, you know, drunken tags. I probably remember. <laughs> <laughs> what I was going through when, when I was younger, it was always... It, it, it's about gap between generations where young people really don't, don't get appreciated for, for whatever they're doing. And, uh, yeah, just to show them that there is old pretty cool case. <laughs> Give these artists a go. A lot of them have a lot of talent, a lot of skill, and they've got a lot of ideas that they can put, you know, on any sort of thing that you wanted them to paint. They get taught how to do it the right way through schools, through workshops, through artists, you know. So if people are given a chance to show how, how to express their art form and how to do it properly, then they'll become these great, fabulous artists, you know, and see where it goes.